there's something about 3D that just gets the stoke up for everybody, which fuels me to do more exploration, basically. I'm like pretty research driven. I got a bunch of data to like inform this project. And the idea was like, we were trying to build a bike that was youth centric, like 16 to 25. Basically after the data, I start drawing. And then after the drawing, I need to get people stoked and on board for my design. So I hop into gravity sketch. And then I would meet with Alex pretty much immediately in co-lab space. And then we would push and pull shapes, sizes, figure out where everything needs to go in space and experimenting with where things can go in space. Like it's expedited our collaboration to like getting to presentation mode sooner. And then I move into Photoshop and kind of like solidify. And then I smooth back into gravity sketch again and make like a more solidified CAD model. And then I move into Rhino and I really start to dial it in. I think it's like gotten stakeholders on boards faster because I can CAD model a concept faster and show them 3D stuff sooner. I was a little blown away with the sheer volume of iteration in 3D that you have done. I think this is a great example of, you know, a, a different type of iteration in a 3D space. So I basically just put a bike, mess with it a bunch until I'm like stoked and I have another idea. And then I just group it, click and drag and duplicate it. And then I just start to augment it again. Being able to work in that one-to-one -one scale, especially with bikes, is such a game changer, right? Because there's so yeah. many things and nuances that you can see as you start to get into that, that proportionate scale, that one-to-one -one scale, that obviously you wouldn't with, with the 2D design. And these models are so cool and they tell such a great story that I, I can look at this bike and immediately I know like ergonomically that works.